So how does VSX recreate the sound of speakers in a headphone? Well, we use a proprietary form of binaural perception modeling, which we call BPM. With BPM, we aim to recreate how humans perceive sound in a room with speakers. So our ears are essentially little omnidirectional microphones that are filtered by our head and body. Now this filtering customizes the data that our little microphones receive. And let's also remember that depending on the source location, the microphones receive the data at different times. The idea with BPM is that if we recreate all of these auditory cues, it'll sound like you're listening in the real room. So for example, when we model a speaker on the right side, we are modeling both the direct sound to the right ear and this time delayed filtered sound to the left ear. Now this goes for the other speaker as well, and that's what creates the virtual crosstalk. Then we combine both speaker models, add in some subtle room tone modeling, and then the most important part, we tune the overall sound precisely to the VSX Beryllium driver headphone, because it would be impossible to get a perfectly accurate model without a standard reference. Now this is especially critical when trying to model a flat studio speaker environment for mixing. You need the integration of the hardware and software to be perfect and precise. And that's why we also calibrate every VSX headphone production run in the software, because the tolerances in most headphone components are not tight enough for this type of system. So that's how VSX works. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you.